Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. This episode is kindly sponsored by PCB Way, a printed circuit board manufacturer who has a whole heap of services for you to choose from and very reasonably priced as well. So the kind people at PCB Way asked if I'd like to do a video using their circuit boards and I agreed and they sent me the circuit boards the ordering process was very easy once I made the Gerber files uploaded them to the site selected a few boxes and that was it very simple very straightforward to do so thank you PCB way Let's get on with a video. So here we have the PCB Way box. And let's see. Let's see what goodies lie inside for us. So let's open up. We have some packing materials. And we have a pen. Very nice. PCB way pen. Very nice. We have a couple of PCB way stickers by the looks of it. Celebrating our seventh anniversary by the looks of it. Excellent, thank you, PCB Way. And in here we have the circuit boards. All nicely packaged up. So let's have a look at these circuit boards. So I've chosen a pretty much standard configuration for the boards. It should be 1.6 mil thick. Um, standard material. But I've gone for a black solder mask. As I do like the black solder mask. And on first look it looks to be quite glossy which is nice. I like that. Silt screening looks very clear. Let's have a closer look. It's a nice glossy solder mask. All plated through holes. Silt screening looks very, very good. Standard fiberglass board. All in all, very nice. Very, very nice. I like it a lot. So, what is this circuit going to be? Well, I've decided to make a two-tone generator for checking single sideband radio transmissions. So I'm using a derivative of this circuit, which is a standard two-tone generator, but with some slight changes. So here's the circuit that I reproduced in the um, PCB making software. And there's a final layout of the board and there's a 3D render of the board done via the software. I know all the resistors look the same but that doesn't matter. It was just the placement and the size of the component I wanted. So we sent that off to PCB Way as a Gerber file. And a few days later, we had this lovely PCB. So let's start building it. I've sped this up a little bit. A 
basically. It's just a very simple circuit. You've got two oscillators, two audio oscillators, running at different frequencies, mixed together, and then outputted to the radio. which then allows you to check your transmission on the single sideband sets make sure your audio's not clipping or flat topping or your final bias is wrong it's a very handy tool to have and it's even nicer that we can home make one so I'm just going to fit a load of components through the board and we're soldering them all up in bulk all looking good at the moment just a few more capacitors to go Now let's do some very fast soldering. Again, I sped this up. Just listening to a sideband set now, seems to be a little bit of activity going on. Sure has been for the last few days. Would it be in nice weather? Seems to be some some nice lifts appearing. So that's the first lot of components soldered in. all the excess wires snipped off there's nothing like making a nice board yourself out of a out of a good good board Put a few electrolytics in. And we'll get those soldered up. all those electrolytics soldered in just cut all the leads off make it nice and tidy and three last components of a voltage regulator and two BC547 transistors which will act as the oscillators now on the board I've actually made provisions to put um, variable resistors on the board but what I've done is I've actually taken them off the board mounted them onto a box which we'll see very soon And 
just the last last part to solder in which is a voltage regulator it does help in keeping the supply steady so the the oscillator doesn't change frequency or anything keeps it nice and stable and there we have it the finished built oscillator with all its components looking very good so I bought some variable resistors and some knobs to go on the top of it and some small component boxes or project boxes so here's the box built so basically we've got a balance which mixes one or the other or both of the tones and a final output level we've got two switches to switch each one of the tones on and off so here's the first test of the oscillator with my oscilloscope so you can see the level alters the amplitude we've just got one tone selected at the moment looks like a nice sine wave so we'll switch the other tone you can see one tone is higher frequency than the other tone not a bad sine wave and with them both mixed together you can see you get some really funky patterns on the oscilloscope as the two tones are actually mixed together okay everything seems to be working nicely there you can see the balance changing the different tones as they mix together goes from one tone to the other okay all in all very happy with that so let's have a look on the radio so with both tones on and the balance correctly adjusted so the center points as tight as possible we can adjust the levels and the balance So we've got a nice waveform. Now the waveform should be shouldn't have gaps in the centres. It should be nice and tight. It shouldn't have any clipping on the top. So with a correct adjustment of the two tone generator we can get a nice pattern on the oscilloscope this does make the radio work quite hard and the final output does get quite toasty after a while but that's how it should be so all in all very happy on how it turned out very happy with the circuit boards they're of a quality to be expected from one of the leading PCB manufacturers so once again thank you PCBWay for supplying these PCB boards for me and sending them nice and quickly to me I appreciate it very much and hopefully we can do some more projects in the future but that's this two-tone generator project finished 
Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.